we go. Going to be starting it off on Pokemon Stadium. Why are you tiddling? Uh, I know... Sorry, I used to think this wasn't that bad for Wario, but now I know I'm pretty sure he thinks it's pretty bad. Okay. But, uh, I could definitely see that. Uh, the wall of projectiles for Wario to get past, and then you've got that disjoint waiting for you. Yeah, and Wario usually does a pretty good job edgeguarding opponents, but it's going to be a little bit harder against Toon. Like, got that mm. big up B to answer back and punish really hard whenever you don't. Like, yeah, if you miss the edgeguard, sometimes you just die just from just, getting hit by up B. Just like that, yeah, he's at 30%. Oh, super nice forward tilt. Tries to pull back, but still gets clipped by the up B. Not uh, sure why he chose down smash, but that is going to get punished. Strong bad putting one stock on the board. Yep, the rubber is super nice looking. Very nice. Throw. Throw. Oh, yeah, does not get the falling up air right there. Up air has so much utility in this Wario. Yeah. Because that first initial light just pops up at like the perfect, just like right above you height, right. and then if you get the light hit, you just like kill people with it. Super. Especially on a stage like this, with a with relatively low ceiling. Mm -hmm. Gonna be finding those kills pretty often. Okay, little baby string from map D gets some damage on the board. But Strong Bad again, getting the forward air into grab and gets Ooh. the mix-up on bite yeah. a little bit but too early for the lock to kill. Yeah. Ooh. Gonna be looking for the up air, doesn't quite find it. It's actually astonishing that Dapathy was able to DI that well because he was DIing in on the on the bite, so he was holding away, so he was able to adjust his DI so quickly. Oh, I okay. like the jabs right there. Yeah, yeah, very nice choice. He's not good for the grab. I think that's pretty unsafe. Um, if you are pressuring Toon Link's shield, he just actually doesn't have a lot of options just because of how slow his grab is. Yes, uh, frame 11, I believe. Yeah, rough life for tether characters. Yeah, it does have a out of shield as well, but that's also 11. And very big commitment. Yeah, on and it, the reward for getting it is just super low. not nearly enough. Oh. Tries to get the pivot grab on the downer, but spaces himself a little too far away. Nice read on the movement, catching the wave dash back. Gonna get some damage off of it. No. DI away on the neutral air is gonna push him far enough out to end the stock. Apathy taking game one. Mm hmm. So, I know Wario likes platforms, but I know Toon Link likes platforms. Yeah, yeah. But Wario's gonna get benefit more from flat ground for the juggles. So, I would not be surprised. If FD was chosen, if it's left open. I think Fountain. Kind of surprised. Fountain and Wario Land. Okay, I could see that. Um, I know Strong Bear really likes Smashville, historically. Oh, are we switching characters? We could be. It. I know he does not like this matchup. So. He's gone Fox and Wolf in the past against Lunchables Toon Link. I wonder if he knows that it's stage first. Oh, well, I guess they did characters. Yeah, they, stage did, band, they so. did stage band, so. Pretty sure they know. I'm pretty good. Fox. Young Umbreon asking how how we are. Oh, we're jamming. He is gonna pull out the fox. One, sure. Um, going fox against the tune like yeah. I can I can see this working. Definitely fox a favorable matchup. Historically, gives tune like a lot of trouble. Um, but if he does end up winning this, uh, I don't know if he's gonna. He might have to switch back just because after he's really good at fox Charizard. So yeah, counterpick war once again. Yeah, that can be pretty awkward from Fox and Charizard. Hitboxes are just so big trying to find the opening. That crash cancel jab, super good. But yeah. now we've got Toon Link on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this, you know, Toon Link character, Toon Link's hitbox is not particularly large. Pretty, like, disjointed, but not very, uh, bit, they don't have a huge duration. And not as much range mm -hmm. as, like, the Roy Mart that Fox is, you know, used to contending with. And once you get on top of Toon Link, like, like we mentioned earlier. He really can't do much. Yeah, his out of shield options are not impressive in the slightest. And he's just faster than you, so you can't you can't just run away from your problems against like the floaty characters. Yeah, he's just gonna smother you if you try to do that. Yeah, finding the uh, opportune time to pull a bomb is gonna be pretty difficult in this matchup. Because mm -hmm. nice if you do, grab. you'll just give up stage position. Yeah, if not, Fox just if Fox like sniffs it out, he can hunt you down and just kick you. Ooh, the up smash gonna send him right off the top. 
Side B's <laughs> off the side. Absy's <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh okay, my god, nice the reflector. reflector. Gonna actually bomb. convert off of it. Nice up tilt shrines. Getting the weak hit dash attack to grab. Putting a lot there of damage on the board. Yes. Oh yeah, just drills out of shield. Doesn't even offer shine of shield. Mm. Yep, getting this the grab on the platform. rough to watch. Yeah, I don't... I understand why I have the counter picks in this matchup now. Yeah, it seems like uh, <laughs> it does not look fun. Yeah, we don't get to see it very often because you know Launchables is one a god and two like plays Roy versus the like the space animals. Yeah. Up throw. Yeah, try to cover the platform with the up air, but it's not drifting far enough. That's a good punish on the spot dodge, but again, doesn't am able to find anything off of it. Safe spacing by strong bed. FB not able to really find anything, any opening, despite pushing his opponent into the corner. Yeah, I would have liked to see Epi instead of the Nair right there, just to knock him off stage. Nice. Up throw? Yeah, yeah. I think at those percents, up throw would have comboed. Maybe even down throw into something. Yeah. But he's still going to finish the stock off. Up throw, up B could have been a thing there. Possibly. Up throw, up air. Oh, and the bomb catches him. Waiting in the corner, trying to play as patient as possible. Ooh, the reflector. Looking for the dash tech to confirm into the kill, but Boomerang gonna nope. save him. Get the eye on that. I was imagine that'll be it. So yeah, now the question is whether or not Strong Bad will switch back. Okay. Since Apathy does have the Charizard counter pick. Ending Fountain, not surprised. Um, if he stays Fox, he doesn't want to deal with Charizard and Fountain, I'd, I'd imagine. Mm. Down smash on that stage. Pretty difficult to deal with. Yep, we are going to see the switch. Right, yep. He's staying. Yep, it is Three, stage first two, since we are running the Paragon rule set. Yep. Strong Bad would rather do the Charizard Fox, it looks like, than the Wario Toon Link. Okay, good patience. Playing around the platform. It's not really wanting to contend with the Charizard hitboxes. That's nice. Managed. Still managed to find the opening, though. Lots of damage coming out. He'll shine into the dash okay. deck. Nice back air. Yeah, that was a nice combo. Yeah, I could have up tilted in that situation and would have caught the roll in. Yeah. But uh, sometimes those are the hard reads you gotta, that you gotta make. And another dash attack up smash coming through to finish the stock off. Strong bad again, taking the first stock. Oh, okay, the Nair catches him. Up smash, tried to catch him on the platform, just a little misspaced. Yeah, the one thing I like, uh, Strong Bed is electing to not even attempt the up throw up air, because he knows that these, like, middling percents, maybe even at certain high percents, it's not actually going to work at it's all. It's actually never a true confirm on Charizard. Never true? Okay. Yeah, it, uh, smart of him to understand that ahead of time, going for other throws instead, using the forward throw, using the back throw. Yeah, back throw is a pretty good DI mix that a lot of people don't use. And then down throws are really good tech especially in this yes. game, because momentum doesn't carry over. Oh, that jab was super nice. Um, jab, like, just a better chic forward tilt yeah, for Charizard. It's, it's basically EX chic forward tilt. <laughs> yeah, it's real good, especially on a heavy character, and you can, like, option select the ASDI down while you're doing it. Yeah. It's real good. Oh, the turnaround grab off of the shield pressure. I have not seen Apathy use Uppy out of Shield with Charizard yet. That, yeah, that is one thing that he can do, because it does have an vulnerability on the startup. We'll be cutting through Fox Pressure, although that's something uh, interesting to know, is that Strongbite hasn't really been putting on too much Shine Pressure. No, he's been using just more of his movement and doing, like, aerial into, like, dash away. Yeah, yeah, and, like, the tricky pivot grabs whenever he thinks his opponent is going to be shielding, instead of just going for uh, relatively safer things, like standard Fox things, like neutral air, uh, down air into Shines. Mm -hmm. And at low percent, the upbeat can be a little unsafe. Yeah. Um, but at high percent, it sends at that super low angle if you get the side hit. Yeah. So, yeah, looking rough right now for Strong Bad. We will see what he can do. There's out of that. Okay, the nice. Back air again. Setting up the invulnerable back air and gonna get, grab the ledge. Gonna go down to the last stock for both players, game three. Let's see what happens. Back throw? Oh, yeah. Oh, back throw is such a good move for tech chasing. It barely misses that down tilt. If that down tilt would have hit on the sweet spot, that definitely would have been the game. 
That is the Super Marth down tilt when you get that. Ooh, just outside the range of that jab. Which is a good, good decision from Strongback, because if he did just put, push out any button or move forward even in the slightest, it would have been cut. He tried to act um, to catch the get-up attack while he was crouching. Could have just waited and crouch. Might have been trying to shield drop, does not get it. Ooh. The F-Smash catches him behind. That is going to be an opportunity, and Strongbed does slip to the ledge. The side beef map would be a little bit too big of a commitment off stage. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, that, that's another example of things I always try to pound into people's head, is that being able to comfortably slip to the ledge as fast as humanly possible is really important. Because if he hadn't there, you know, let, uh, but after you get to the ledge again, he could get caught by random forward air, neutral air, get hit once by, you know, as by Charizard as Fox at 90%. Could very well just be the end of your stock.